Hello, this is Jonathan French Guitar. This request was made by Nikki K.A. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, this is Jonathan French Guitar. Today's tutorial is Skywalker by Miguel. It goes a little bit like... Okay, so these are the main chords. You have a B power chord, a D flat power chord, and a B flat. So that's B, D flat, B flat. Okay, so to make our power chord shape, we're going to take our first finger and we are going to put that on the seventh fret on the sixth string. Then we are going to take our third finger, the ring finger, and we are going to put it on the fifth string on the ninth fret. And then we are going to take our fourth finger, the pinky finger, and we are going to put that on, we are gonna put that on the ninth fret on the fourth string. It's going to be this same power chord shape throughout the song. You are only using power chords. So we start off on the B power chord, then we go to D flat power chord. D flat is going to start on the ninth fret and we're keeping that same shape, but we're using our first finger to lead. So we go from, so once again, we go from B, you play all three of those chords. B power chord, D flat power chord. Notice I'm not strumming the rest of the strings. It's not gonna sound so good. See how that sounds terrible? You, that's, you don't want that. You don't want those other strings ringing out. So just, just the sixth string, the fifth string, and the fourth string. So from our D flat, we go to, that's our sixth fret. Okay, see, we're leading with our finger, keeping that same shape. So the entire time, your first finger, your ring finger, and your pinky finger should be a whole step apart. So a whole fret apart, you want those. So we're going to play that in context. So we're gonna talk effects. You can play it clean just like this. Or you can put on a little bit of distortion. Um, a cool effect to the song a cool technique you can do with the song is you can you can kind of give it a and what I'm doing there is I'm palm muting a little bit so I'm letting my palm rest just you know gently against the strings 
and I'm going. Let's put that in context. Stand Which brings me to um, which brings me to the part of the song where we play the 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 melody of the chorus, the chorus of what uh, Miguel is singing. So what I did there So what I did there was I went to our fourth string. I went to the fourth string and then I went to the eighth fret. Okay? I put my I'm putting my third finger on the eighth fret on the fourth string. Then I take my first finger and I go to the sixth fret. Same string, down to the fourth fret. So, so far we got, and you can add a little bit of vibrato there. My, okay. Then next, I'm going to the third string on the sixth fret. So that's fourth string, eight, six, four, then the third string, six. And from the six from the sixth fret on the third string, we're gonna go to back to the eighth fret on the on the fourth string. So so far we got And for the next part you're just gonna play the same thing. So you got okay, so and that's once again that's on the fifth string, eighth fret, sixth fret. Fourth fret. So so far we got. So so far we got. Okay, next. That's our fifth string, and we are going to play the sixth fret on the fifth string and the fourth fret on the fifth string. So if you put that together, so far you have. Then next we have. Sorry. 
So that's, you go to the third string and you hit the sixth fret on the third string. And then you go to the fourth string and you also hit the sixth fret. And that's the... So, so far we have... And then next we have... It's the same thing that you played. And then you have... Uh, yeah, and then you go to... Um, so the next one, the next line starts off like what we were doing before. Yeah, so it starts off like what we were doing before. But then you go, just you hit it twice on the fourth string on the fourth fret. There you go. And then you go to the third string and then you go. So what I did was I went to the third string and I started off on the eighth fret. Then I go to the then I go to the sixth fret on the third string. And then from the sixth fret on the third string, I go to the fourth string on the fourth fret. So and then you go back to the fifth string and play the sixth fret and the fourth fret. So So, so far we have. Then finally you have, next we have. So what I did was, like how we started off in the beginning, I go to the 4th string, 8th fret. So I go to the 8th fret, 6th fret, 4th fret, 4th fret. Then 3rd string, 6th fret, and then back to the 4th string, 8th fret. So after I do that, I go, so I strike the fifth string on the eighth fret one time, two times. But on the second time, I do a hammer on and a pull off from the eighth fret to the ninth fret. And then do the same line. So all together we have Of course, with this one, um, just like the, you can choose to have some distortion on or not. So now I'm going to play that.
in context. This is Jonathan French Guitar. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to see more content like this, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you and have a great day.